I think over the last uh, 50 years of ministry, probably the most powerful message we've had with both young people and older people responding has been my personal testimony. People would say, Josh, do you realize your testimony covers almost every obstacle people have to come to Christ? So that's why we wanted to put it on film. It's a very vulnerable story, so the sets that are chosen, Chris is a phenomenal director. The way that it's being filmed, the crew that's been chosen, it is just perfect. It's interesting how I came to be involved in the, in the project because I made a film that Josh saw along with several of his staff. And this movie was shot on four different continents. When I saw the video that he'd produced called More Than Dreams, two things passed my mind. One is that this is probably the best DVD I've ever seen in my life. And that's when I said, I want my story told this way, and whoever did this, I want them to direct it. And I found out it was Chris Cruson. The movie is set during the 1950s for the most part. So we're talking about an era 60 plus years ago. So that's quite a distance in time. And in recreating that epoch, that period of time, there are many opportunities, I think, to create a style that is evocative of another era, another time. Being on this property right here is not the property where I was born and raised, but it's so similar to it. This set is so much like the real set. We were there this summer and walked through the abandoned property and whoa. I guess the hard part for me for the last two days is just bringing back a lot of, a lot of memories. Some good and some not so good. Uh, but I don't know how they could have found a more beautiful place to uh, shoot this film. This is, a, this is about as perfect as it can get. And I've shot, I don't know how many movies in the fall, and every one of them I just am thankful for. Uh, making films in Michigan is something that I've been involved with my whole life. Last night as I was reminiscing over uh, the day's shoot, I was kind of thinking, wow, I don't think you could be here and see what's happening and everything and feel the emotion of it without realizing, I think we got a winner. At the end of the day, uh, all of this is about faith and trust and grace. I'm glad to be a part of it. <laughs>